The NEAG Medal of Honor is awarded to outstanding individuals who have made significant contributions to medicine through their legacies in treatment, education, public outreach, and philanthropy. Dr. Richard Garibaldi's dedication to the Yukon Health Center and his contributions as a clinician, scientist, and teacher are well known by patients, students, and colleagues. Richard uh, was a friend in, in the deepest sense of that word. He was smart, and he was talented, he was skilled, he listened exceptionally well. He used his talents to uh, understand problems in a uh, very broad sense, and as a result of that, he became a very effective uh, team member. He was also a tremendous leader. Richard made it easy for everybody to participate because he valued everybody's skill. Dr. Garibaldi built a reputation as a highly skilled and compassionate physician. He wasn't just a sympathetic human being when you were ill, he was empathetic. He was interested in doing something to uh, see that you could truly be made better. Generations of medical students benefited from his teaching and mentoring. I think his favorite part was education, in the, in the full spectrum of that word, uh, embodying both medical students as well as residents in medicine, as well as the continuing education of faculty, not only at the health center, but faculty throughout the greater Hartford system. Dr. Richard Garibaldi was a beloved husband, father, and grandfather. The love for the man was intense, and uh, the hurt of his passing is even more so. We, we miss him greatly. Medicine needs role models like Richard Garibaldi. Dr. Thomas Taylor is an internationally respected leader in prosthodontics and maxillofacial prosthetics. He, like many doctors at the Yukon Health Center, is on the cutting edge of research, education, and patient care. I love what I do. It is, it is so different, so varied. You have a different job to do every day. One day it's teaching, one day it's treating patients, one day it's see seeing research patients, and I just love the flow of it. Dr. Taylor has been with the Yukon Health Center for 24 years. He and his wife, Margaret, have watched their family grow in Connecticut. The most enjoyable part of his career is working with the students. When you're there with a, with a student and a patient in a difficult situation, and they're, they're asking for help, and you make a suggestion, and you can just see the light bulb go off in their eye that they finally got it, it's uh, very re rewarding. Dr. Taylor has been giving back for the past 15 years through his outreach trips to Native American reservations in Sitka, Alaska. He and his team treat 30 patients who require complex procedures. The residents conduct all the lab work on location. The clinics up there sort of stockpile these patients with complex needs and line them up for us to care for over this, this week that we're in Sitka and usually in June. It's a wonderful, wonderful experience for the residents. and The other uh, faculty enjoy it very much as well. And we get to fish a little bit too. The Yukon Health Center would not be what it is today were it not for the generous contributions of David and Rhoda Chase, Arnold and Sandra Chase, and Cheryl Chase and Stuart Bear. The Chase family has been personally impacted by the amazing work at the Yukon Health Center through three generations. 30 years ago, our first child had developed diabetes and there was no place to turn for a patient that young with one notable exception, and that was the Yukon Health Center. And that experience opened our eyes to the need for specialized treatment. My father was diagnosed with a soft cell tumor. It was very alarming, and we had to make a decision. What would we do, and where would we go? It was very comforting to know that we had the best quality of care right here, and the best state-of-the-art equipment right here at Yukon. Cheryl's daughter and son-in-law were referred to the Center for Advanced Reproductive Services to help them have a child. December 8th in 2012, my little grandson, Dylan Jasper Chase Dyer, was born. 
With my father's operation, Yukon helped save a life. With my grandson, Yukon helped create a life. The future of the Yukon Health Center depends on contributions from the community. Our family, like many other families, saw the generosity of generations before us, and we benefited as a result of that. And it became very clear to us that we also had a responsibility to continue that cycle of generosity so that others after us can benefit from that. We are very grateful that we have the ability to give through our foundations and that's something that I, that I know is ingrained in not only my brother and myself uh, because we did learn the lessons of our parents but hopefully we've passed that on to our children. The research, education, and philanthropy of today will guarantee the future success of the Yukon Health Center and its partnership with Bioscience Connecticut. When it's fully expressed, uh, may allow Richard's vision to be fully expressed. He would be totally behind the Bioscience Initiative. The research going on within our department is a, is a major part of the research overall for the School of Dental Medicine, and it ties in very, very nicely with the Bioscience Connecticut and the overall research mission of Yukon Health Center. The genetic breakthroughs, all the other research that's being done in conjunction with Bioscience Connecticut, the creation of jobs, will really, really make a difference in this, not only in our state, in the whole region. I fully expect that we will be an international center that will be absolutely making breakthroughs in medicine that will be used and appreciated throughout the whole world. Mm -hmm.